What comes after the end? I don't know. Neither did they. They were just an army engineer battalion, constructing roads and bridges deep in the middle of the Arizona nowhere. They didn't know why Armageddon had come. They'd heard radio chatter about an attack on some space-based missile platform. But who had attacked it, or why? No one knew. What they did know is that the politicians and the generals had finally ended the world. Now, everything was gone. They took over a federal prison for a fort, kicked out the convicts, got busy starting from scratch. Maybe it was an act of mercy. Maybe they figured that the prisoners would die out in the harsh new world. Whichever, it came back to bite the engineers in the ass. Cultists, criminals, cannibals. They've been living with the fallout ever since. Good people had survived too, called for help in the night. And those engineers, those common soldiers, could not stand by and see them die. So they came out of their fort and they helped the survivors defend their homes. And for that, they earned a new name, a proud name, the Desert Rangers. Now Rangers, I know at times it seems our cause is hopeless. And I know it's hard to say goodbye to a brother in arms. But I want you to know something else. That no ranger who dies in the line of duty will ever be forgotten. nor will he have ever died in vain or unavenged. Thank you, recruits. I appreciate you coming to Captain Ace's retirement party when you hardly knew the man. Appropriate, too, seeing as how investigating his death will be your first duty as a Desert Ranger.
Yeah, I know. You've hardly found your feet with us, and here I am sending you on a mission that already got one ranger killed. Well, I wish I had another option, but the desert rangers are spread a little thin right now. Ranger teams Abel and Charlie are out west trying to stop a range war out there from becoming straight-up genocide. And Team Baker is up north looking for a way through the radiation that's cut us off from Vegas. I'm afraid the next generation is going to have to lead the charge on this one. Ace had been trying to locate a faint radio signal, which has lately been giving us cause for concern. We gave him three repeater units and sent him to hook him up to three remote radio towers. This would have allowed us to get a fix on the signal. But sadly, Ace was murdered by unknown assailants right after hooking up the first tower, and his logbook and the last two repeater units were stolen. The voice on those broadcasts disturbed me greatly. It talked crazy talk about a future where man and machine would be one. Worse, it talked about us, the Desert Rangers specifically. It said it was coming for us. When you get back to the Citadel, talk to our radio expert, Wade Woodson, if you want to know more about the technical details. All I know is the repeaters will upgrade the towers and allow us to zero in on the mystery signal. I'll give you the locations of the towers once you have the repeaters in hand. More important to find them first. Don't know, but it wasn't on Ace's person when he was found. Look for it. It might have some clues as to his death. The mission is this. Search the area where Ace's body was found and do your best to recover his logbook and the repeater units. Then call in your report. If you find the repeaters, I may send you on to finish his mission. Ace's death must be avenged, and it will be. But finding the signal he died trying to track down is just as important. Besides, I got the sneaking suspicion that when you find the one, you'll find the other. Yes, call in on your radio. Your radio is your lifeline to Ranger Citadel. We'll be calling you with alerts and updates on your current missions and sending you new missions when we receive distress calls. As Rangers, it is your sworn duty to respond to those calls. That is the contract we made with the people of Arizona when we opened for business. Once you prove yourself, the Citadel will be your new home. Consider this mission the final test of your training. If you succeed, you are welcome within our walls. If you fail, then you aren't cut out to be a desert ranger, and we won't let you in. Mm, using logic on me, eh? Smartass. Logic and observation will change some folks' minds, and you can catch people in lies that way. But sometime, it only makes them mad, so be careful. In this case, you're right. I should let you in, but I got a feeling about you four. You got depths you don't even know you have, and it's gonna take adversity to tap them. So I'm sending you out undergunned and unprepared just to see what it brings out of you. You'll thank me later. Eh, maybe. It's about a day's walk east from here. I'll mark it on your map. There you go. Good luck out there, recruits.
Hey, Echo One. Mind picking up that can over there for me? Think there's some water in there. Echo, this is Ranger Command. Come in. Roger, Echo One. Just making sure your radio is working. I'll be your dispatcher from here on out. I also wanted to give you a little heads up on your water situation. If you've all got full canteens, you should have enough water to reach the place where Ace died with plenty to spare. But if you're going to go exploring, you'll want to fill up again at any oasis you can find. Remember, your main priority is to recover the repeater units Ace was carrying. Once you've got the devices, you'll be headed to Ag Center and High Pool to install them. But we'll talk about that after you acquire the repeaters. We must, of course, bring Ace's killers to justice. But right now, that's secondary to discovering the location of that signal. Until now, Woodson's been our dispatcher. But Ace's death made me realize I've spent too many years in my office, walled off from the world and how it's changing. I need to know what's going on out there, and I figure the best way to do that is to start listening to the people's problems. So, I've decided that from now on, I'll be the one fielding calls and talking in your ear when you head out into the wastes. Don't let that make you self-conscious or nothing. It is vital that all teams stay in radio contact with me here at the base. We get distress calls from all over our jurisdiction and sometimes beyond. Towns or farms or mines being attacked by raiders, mutant beasts, what have you. We field those calls here and then dispatch whichever team is closest to the problem. 10-4 Echo 1, carry on. Ranger...
Ranger Command, go ahead. Over. Copy Echo One. Appreciate the update. Roger that, Echo One. When you reach the area where Ace's body was found, give it a good going over. The folks that picked him up said it looked like he crawled there. Maybe you can find some tracks leading to where he was attacked. Copy? 10-4, Echo One, and check in immediately with any new info. Those repeater units are a top priority. Ranger Command out.
in our backyard, you gotta pay. 15 scrap, or we'll break your faces. And my dog will eat your corpses. Really? You do that? Man, this is great. It'll be so much easier to get people to pay our tolls once we have badges. Here, take this scrap. We'll head to the Citadel now. Let me mark my good think spot on your map. That's where I had the idea to set up here. Let me tell you Matthias' law, friends. Matthias' law is vengeance. And soon, Matthias' law will stretch all the way to Arizona and kill those so-called upholders of justice, the Desert Rangers.
Echo One, go ahead. Got an update? Uh, what? Well, I'll be goddamned. We haven't seen any synthetics around for almost 15 years. We better get a closer look at the tech. Mirror Captain might be able to tell us where it came from. See if you can grab a piece of it and bring it back to Mirror Captain the next time you're at the Citadel. That is Mirror Captain's fancy word for smart robots. She calls them synthetic life forms or synths. Basically, any robot that can think for itself falls into the synth category. Plain old robots are dangerous enough. Ones that think for themselves are a nightmare. Good, but our priority is still those repeaters. Now that you have them, I'm sending you on to complete Ace's mission, which was to attach him to the most powerful towers in Arizona, so we can get a fix on that mystery signal. One tower is at High Pool, the other is at the Ag Center. I'm sending you the coordinates now. Ag Center is due south of Ranger Citadel and very important to what we're trying to achieve. The researchers there are developing hardier plants and animals that will thrive in the harsh conditions of the waste. If it all pays off, we may see the day when nobody in Arizona goes hungry. Talk to Matt Forrestall about hooking up to their radio dish. He used to be one of us. Now he runs things down there. Matt's good people. Used to be part of an old satellite relay system, from what Woodson tells me. Strongest transmitter in Arizona. High Pool is at the most southern and eastern corner of our jurisdiction. They're a vital part of the stable society we've been trying to build here in Arizona. They provide clean water to us and many other communities and farms, maintain an emergency reservoir in case of drought. See Mayor Vickstrom there about using their tower. He knows you're coming. They built their tower on top of an old crane. A bit unorthodox, but it gets great reception. Roger, Echo One. Ranger Command out.
SOS. Is anybody out there? This is High Pool. We are under attack. I repeat, we are under attack. Raiders with mortars and explosives are blasting our walls. If anybody can hear this, come at once. Don't know how long we can hold it. Ranger Citadel, this is Ag Center. Come in. We're under attack. The plants, they're, they're mutating out of control. They're tearing my... Ag Center, this is Citadel Base. Can you repeat? Did you say the plants were attacking? Yes, goddammit, the plants. Something's gone wrong with the... Oh, look! The door! Ranger Team Echo, this is Ranger Command. Come in. Did you copy those distress calls from High Pool and Ag Center? Over. Roger that. Uh, listen, Echo One, I have no one else in the area and no further intel at this time. I'm afraid it's going to have to be your decision which call to respond to first. Whichever one you choose, get there ASAP. Both situations are emergencies and both... Uh-huh. Suspicious, isn't it, Echo One? Like someone's monitoring our transmissions and trying to stop our little radio experiment before it starts. Keep an eye out for suspect characters. Copy. 10-4 Echo One. Godspeed. Ranger Command. Echo One, now listen. I want you to deal with the emergency situation first before proceeding to the antenna. Repeat, help Mayor Vickstrom with his emergency, then hook up the repeater to the antenna on the... Roger, Echo One. Advise when complete. Ranger Command. Damn, top! Green up! Sound off! Give me the bad news! Damn, top reporting. Got some jackass shooting mortars at us. Can't hit... Can't hit shit, but he's setting a lot of fire. Crane up reporting. Some jokers are planning charges at the base of the wall. It, it looks like they're trying to shoot. What? A yeah. jackhammer? Yeah. Damn, it's breaking it's here every year. Reservoir checking in. A lot of damage back here. Damn tank is leaking like a sieve. I don't know how long it'll hold. Oh, it's down in the tunnel. Irrigation system is about to go. Too much pressure in the pipe. I'm trying to ease it off, but I need more hands. No can do, Kate.
fuck are you guys? We're getting steamrolled here! Apu, get off the damn horn. We've already got RSM troops on site. Call them. I've been calling! They're not responding! Now stop calling! I got other shit going on!
Echo One, your team's recent progress merits a number of field promotions. Congratulations, Echo One. You've done well.
Commander Danforth. Anybody? Can anybody hear us? This is Harvard from the Scorpions. <laughs> the guys who hid in the cave, remember? Oh, there's, there's something down there, man. He's after us. It already killed dog breath. Oh shit! Run! Run!
Heads up below! Box coming down! We'll bring you up. Well, all right, McNamara. Good job. Wait a minute, Rangers? Rangers? Uh, I mean, woohoo, Rangers! Our well, I guess I gotta thank you for taking care of these clowns. Though you could have got here before they wrecked our irrigation system and killed our mayor. You gonna go finish them off now? Or are you just here for our radio tower like you told Mayor Vickstrom? Those wreckers couldn't hit what they were aiming at if their lives depended on it. But they got in a lucky shot yesterday, and shot Mayor Vickstrom when they was aiming at me. I've had to step in as temporary commander now Vickstrom's gone. But I aim to hold a vote, and make it official as soon as things calm down. Then we'll have some real law and order around here. And we won't have to rely on the... Gonna have a show of hands in the town square once we get these wreckers dealt with and the irrigation fixed. Keep press... You still think the Rangers are the only ones who can deliver justice in this world? Ha! <laughs> I don't know. Maybe nothing. Kate Preston says a wrecking crew bomb smashed some valves and it's leaking. She thinks she's got the answer to everything. She thinks she's smarter than everybody else. Well, she's got the same problem the Rangers do. Call themselves the wrecking crew. Stupid name. But then they all have stupid names. After your history with us, you're damn right we got a problem with you. You're top. I guess old Snake ain't too keen to teach his new recruits the truth about the Rangers. Well, after that, High Pool only accepted Ranger protection because there was nobody else to turn to. Huh. I thought as much. Rangers always think of themselves first. Well, we got an antenna up on the crane, but if you want to use it, you'll have to get it back online. There was some kind of short in the tunnels beneath the reservoir. See Kate Preston down there. She'll give you directions if she isn't too busy fixing leaks. Huh? Uh, nobody. You wouldn't know them. Not all of them. And the rest of them will be back for a reckoning. That'll be the end of us. Let well, are we? You'd think the Rangers would keep a better eye on the place that provides them with the most of their water. The Rangers don't want to protect us anymore. The Scorpions are thirsty too. Keep it in mind. Bobby's where the Rangers can't hurt him anymore. I visit his grave every day. Rex is too. He's buried right over there, right next to Bobby. I've seen a lot of freaks come out of the waste in my time. But I've never seen anything like her before. She had an arm. Our local sawbones. Me and the doc don't see eye to eye on a lot. Never mind about that, Rangers. It's not your b I'm surprised you haven't heard of them. You being the law around here. They've been around. Anyhow, they fucked us up proper. Not only did they kill the mayor and burn down our spring. Go on then. Remind us why we agreed to your protection. 